understand why it has to be the way. Ugh. What I want to do is I want to feed this hand to the lapel now. I don't want to feed the lapel to the hand because you'll see it. When you begin to reach for this lapel here, okay, he's going to be focused on this and, and I'll make the fight about this right here. He's going to get this hand in the game right here, you know, and I'm going to move this across here, okay, as you just grab it. Sometimes if you set it up, it will be there to grab, okay. Next thing is, second I feed the lapel right here, okay, I'm not really pulling it because he thinks he's safe. He's not feeling the collar grab. I'm going to grab this knee. I'm going to change the angle and I'm gonna drive my chest into his shoulder and I'm gonna push this knee this way, out, this way. Why? So I can put weight on my right knee and step up with my left. What I wanna do is I wanna open my elbow enough to where my left shin can be under the contour of his neck. So I'm here, here. Now I don't wanna pull too hard until I leave a little space here. I'll do it from another angle. I'm gonna roll him flat. From here, I'm gonna lift my hip. As I'm pulling his lapel here and in the, in the foot, I'm able to drive my knees forward and he really can't sit up. Can you sit up? Not now, no. Okay. So here, as I go and then my leg, I mean my head, moves towards the feet. Or you pull it. Okay. If you're here and you're like so, <laughs> sit up. So he can sit up here. When you're pulling, if, unless I pull, it's an exaggeration, but your knees go over your toes if you can like this. And now he can't sit up. Should I sit up? No. Because he's going into my shin. From here, you just pull. And it finishes. Okay. So make sure your knees go over your toes. So as you're here, making it fight about this here. Pass it here, change the angle here, drive one, two, three. Towards his belly. 